Stroll down the Walk of Fame in the City of Stars, Hollywood, California, and you'll find restaurant owner Tim Ratcliffe. And you're right in the middle of it all, Hollywood and La Brea. Yeah. It's probably the busiest corner in Hollywood. His small corner of this city is also now a flashpoint for a larger discussion about crime and policing in America. Tim, what happened here? Well, I was actually sitting down right here at the table to have uh, lunch with my girlfriend, and right as I sat down, I looked over and a homeless man had come over and he sucker punched a 64-year-old man in the head, uh, knocked him over. That August day, Tim took matters into his own hands, chased and pinned down the attacker, and waited more than 10 minutes for police to get there. So you're pinning him down on the ground here for 12 minutes waiting for police to arrive. Yep. The response time is so slow because there's just, there's not enough police. What's your staffing situation like right now? Uh, we're challenged. We've uh, seen- a Michael Moore is the chief of police in Los Angeles. He admits his department is pressed for people. He told Spotlight on America that in each of the past two years, his department saw about 100 more officers retire than in the past. What does that mean for response times? Well, it's lengthened them. Is it true that you've had to suspend sexual assault investigations, cold case investigations? In the sense of we reorganize the organization away from the cold case team that worked in the Aubrey Homicide Division is now being worked by reserves. Do you believe there's a direct connection between the rise in violent crime and the lack of officers at, at the staffing level that you'd like? I think it, it contributes to it. It's taking longer to respond to uh, emergency calls. Chuck Wexler leads the Police Executive Research Forum and has studied what's driving these staffing shortages across the country. He looked at 37 states in the District of Columbia and found since the summer of 2020, police resignations went up 40 percent in a year. Retirements went up nearly 24 percent. Right now, staffing is down 6.6 percent .6 in the Midwest and 4.5 percent in Western states. What do you think the, the reason is? The George Floyd murder was a turning point in American policing and has impacted staffing significantly. Spotlight on America has found that major American cities are now waving big bucks in high stakes bidding to attract the best candidates and those who understand the additional scrutiny of the profession. Seattle leads the pack, offering some candidates 30 grand, with New Orleans offering the same, and others are following suit. Portland offered up 20 grand, and Fairfax, Virginia offered $15,000 to every new police officer that signs. And it's not just about money. The Police Executive Research Forum found departments easing some of their long-held restrictions, from allowing tattoos to reducing some education requirements. And in Los Angeles, they're raising private money to help new officers cover their housing costs. I didn't want him to get away. In the short term, Tim Ratcliffe is concerned it may not be enough to keep his corner of Hollywood safe. He worries what the next film shot here may look like. For Spotlight on America, I'm Chris Daniel.